Hello, in the previous video we learned how to install a starter template, but we are not going to use this because we are going to build the entire site on our own. So in this video we are going to take a look at how we can build our own header section using the Astra header builder. And slowly we are going to remove these sections that were added by the starter template and we will replace them with our own. Okay, so let's go to customizer. And before we go to the header builder, let's go to global colors and let's select a different color preset for our website. We can do that by clicking here and I'm going to select the color preset 5. Changed our website a little bit, but we don't see too much difference. Uh, but we can see that we have a different uh, default color for buttons. Uh, these are the colors that we are going to use throughout our website. Okay, let's uh, go back to typography and let's check what fonts we have here. Okay, for the body we have the Leto set, that's uh, actually okay, I like that uh, font family. Uh, let's check headings. Okay, so headings are like uh, this part. Uh, let's, let's change this to poppins maybe. Mm, yeah, I, I like that. Okay, if you want you can set different settings for each headings, for h1, h2, until h6. But I am okay with the settings we have right now, so I will just click publish. And let's go to the header builder. Okay, so Astra has different header types. Currently, this page uses the transparent header. But we are not going to use that. We want to use the uh, default uh, header type, but how can we switch to that? Well, Astra allows us to use different headers on, on different pages. So on a per page level, we can, we can decide which header type we want to use. So if we want to use the uh, default header type, we need to go back to our home page because right now the home page uses the transparent header and we don't want to use that. So we need to go to our front page. Uh, this is it. Click edit. Uh, let's go to Astra settings and select the advanced settings and click inherit or disable. Click return to post and save the settings. And that's it. To see the changes, we need to leave the customizer and then come back here again. So I will close this. And now we see that the header changed. Okay, let's go back to the customizer. Let's go to header builder. And now we can edit this header. So we can use up to three rows in the header. Right now it only uses the second one. Obviously the first one is empty, so we don't see that. And also the third one is empty again, so we only see the uh, main primary header. Okay, if you move your mouse over this uh, gear icon, you can see that this is the above header, this is the primary header, and this is the below header. Okay, so before we start editing this part of the header, I want to use the above header section, so I will click here, and then we can access the settings of this row. The height is 40, that's, that's okay. Let's go to design. Let's set the background to something dark. We still don't see anything because we haven't added any element to this row. To add an element, just hover over this section. So we have three uh, columns in this row. Let's hover over the first one. Let's click here and let's add an HTML element. 
So now we can see this row. Let's click this element and let's change this text to... Okay, we could change the uh, font color from here or we can go to design and change the text color to white and we can change other text related settings from here. Maybe we can change this to 14 pixel. All right. In the second column, I don't want to add anything. In the third column, on the right side, let's add social media icons. Okay, so it added three icons. Let's click this element so we can access its uh, settings. Okay, so we have a Facebook, Twitter and Instagram icon. Uh, we can add more icons from here. We can remove an icon by clicking this X icon here or we can turn off visibility if we want to. And if you click here, you can change the label and change the URL. Also, you can change the icon if you want. Let's go to the design tab. Okay, let's change the icon to white. And let's change the hover color to this one. Okay, so now we have white icons and if we hover over the icons, it has a different color. We can change the icon size, the spacing, If you want, we could add a background color. And if we change this setting, then we can change the background space around the icons. Also, you can make this uh, a circle. Okay, so now the social icons look a little bit uh, different, but I think you get the gist. If we are happy and we are happy with this, just click uh, publish and we can move on to the second row. Okay, so let's click here. Again, if you want to, we could change the height of this row, but I think it is okay right now. Since we have um, WooCommerce already installed, I will leave the account and cart element here, but I won't need the secondary menu. And um, I will move the primary menu to the second row. So I want this on the middle. And I want to change the logo. Okay, and let's change the size of the logo, make it a little bit bigger and click publish. Uh, one thing you need to pay attention is that the site title. Right now we don't have a problem with this because we had a starter template installed, but if you create your header builder the first time, the site title will appear next to your logo and obviously you don't want that. If that happens, you just need to turn off the visibility here. Okay, so right now these are off. Okay, so the site title is not visible for either version, not for desktop, tablet, and neither for mobile phones. Another thing I wanted to point out is the menu. So here we have a primary menu element added. If you click here, now we can access the settings of this element, and here we have an option to configure the menu. If you click here, you can assign navigation menus to different locations. If you go back to the administration appearance menus, we can see that we have different display locations for Astra. We have primary, secondary, off canvas, logged in, footer menu. So for the primary menu location, we have the main menu assigned. Okay, let's open the website in a new tab and let's view this site in a, in a different size. Okay, so we can see that if we decrease the width of the website, the menu changes to the mobile menu. 
So let's see how we can change this. So let's go back to the header builder and let's change the view to the mobile view. And now we have a different view of the header builder. So the mobile menu is made up of two parts. So this is the default one when the mobile menu is closed, basically. So we have the logo, the cart element and the toggle button. And these are here. When we open the menu, it is called off canvas menu. So here we can access the settings of the off canvas menu. We can select a header type. So currently this is set to be a, a, a flyout. We can change the direction. So it's, it comes in from the right. We can change it to come in from the left. Uh, we can change the width of the menu and we can change the content alignment. We can make it full screen or drop down. It really depends on, on how you want to use this. If we click here to the primary menu and we click here to configure the menus, again, we can assign a navigation menu to this off canvas location. Let's select the main menu. Again, this is a good way to play around with what you want to display to your, to your users, customers. So if on the mobile view, you want to display a different menu, then you can do that. Just click publish to save the changes. Let's go back. Let's go to site title and logo. And maybe the logo can be a little bit bigger, uh, not that big. Maybe this big. Well, I'm, I think we can lose the cart button from here. So we can have a little bit more breathing space. And maybe we could add the cart here to the off canvas menu. Now, obviously this is not the nicest way to do it, but it's one way to do it. And probably with some custom CSS, we could make this uh, look a little bit nicer. But for now, this is okay. And I will click publish to save the changes. And before we finish this video, I just wanted to show you that there's another way to create uh, a header in Astra. If you use the Astra Pro plugin, you should have access to the site builder options. And here you can create different layouts. You can create any number of header layouts and assign it to different pages. We have a very wide range of conditions how we can display these uh, layouts. So this is also a really, really good way to, to create your, your header. But, but right now we are happy with what we have here. And um, maybe later we are going to create a different uh, header for one of our uh, pages. This is all I wanted to show you in this video. And if you have any questions, just please uh, leave a comment below the video and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.